going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D-Dub here, and welcome to Three Monkeys Park. At least that's what it's originally called. We're probably going to change it here in just a sec. Uh, before we get started, this is the very first episode I'm doing on my new computer, and everything is set up quite a bit differently. Um, the window that I'm currently playing in on my laptop was small enough, and my screen was small enough that it could fit on my entire screen, no issue. When I make this full screen, um, it covers maybe a half of my screen. And so now I've got the real estate to put, uh, you know, my my viewer and all this stuff. And anyway, that's not really applicable to you guys. What is going to be different from here on out is I'm recording this in windowed mode now. I used to have to do some really funky stuff and just straight up record my screen. And the way this game records, because it's so old, it basically only appears in this top section with black everywhere else. That's how the video file comes out. And then I have to run it through, or I used to have to run it through a VLC media player and actually physically crop the video. Not the length, but the size. And so the final product you guys were seeing was actually only about maybe a sixteenth of my screen. Uh, but when I was playing, it looked full screen, it looked just fine. Now, the monitor or the window I'm on is maybe taking up about a sixth of my screen, but I can actually see a whole bunch of other stuff in the in the background, which is kind of cool. Um, however, since I'm recording it in windowed mode, whenever I pull up a menu that's not part of the game, right now I'm looking at the park name, type a new name for the park, and I can actually change the name of the park. But you guys can't see that. And I'm actually kind of okay with that. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, you don't need to see me type things, and I can make all the brain farts as I type, or hand farts, I guess they would be called, uh, and just type what I want the final product to be, and then you guys will see that. And so we're going to name Three Monkeys Park, Freedom Park. Kind of sounds like Freedom Park, but after the... The three coasters here, we're naming it Freedom Park. And we're wasting quite a bit of time here just talking about this stuff. So I'm going to try to multitask and look at stuff and explain stuff simultaneously. Um, so the three rides that are already here are pretty freaking sweet. Um, they are named Hear No Evil, See No Evil, and Speak No Evil, which I think... I love those names, and these three rides were the inspiration for this park. Um, let's make sure they're actually being charged appropriately. They're charging two dollars. Heck no. Actually, how long have these been in existence? Uh, total profit, not a lot. Uh, built this year. Okay, so we can definitely get away with charging full price still. So we're gonna charge eight dollars for here in Weevil. I won't do eight thirty, just because eventually we'll have to charge less. And I'd rather kind of future-proof it, especially with it starting at this, or starting this expensive. Uh, that will charge seven fifty, I guess. Speak no evil, and then I don't remember the other one that we did, <laughs> or which one we did first. Um, that was speak no evil, which we just did. This is see no evil, eight twenty-three. This is the one we didn't do. We'll do eight dollars for this as well. Um, as soon as everything gets fixed, which it looks like they did, I actually want to watch this with you guys. These, this ride is just absolutely insane. Um, so they go into a tunnel real quick, and then I don't even know where they come out. Oh, they turn right here. Just kidding. They turn and then go up this chain lift. Uh, but while we watch this, let's talk about this park. So my plan for this park is to build everything in threes. And I don't know how well that's going to work out, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> so we have three coasters right here. So any coaster I build, I'm going to be building three of them. <laughs> All set up to do synchronized with adjacent stations. If I build a, you know, let's say a scrambled eggs ride, I may or may not be building three scrambled eggs. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to zoom out to watch this because this thing goes all over the place I might just do like a, a section of three smaller rides with a similar color scheme and a similar naming scheme that might have to work this part is so cool right here 
they just go through a three wide tunnel and just intermingle like crazy I don't know how the devs made this but it's so cool looking it all just splits up so much and they end up pretty close together I'm pretty sure oh yeah that is crazy and for a ride like this I think there's only two trains to begin with um, we're actually going to close all three of them down and change it to one train per car. Um, my reason for that is every time I've played this game, it has crashed and people have died and it's just not good. <laughs> so I'm only going to do one train per ride because I can almost guarantee one of these will break with a station brake failure and the trains will kill people and I'm not okay with that. That's just purely my history with this park. That seems to always happen. Uh, but let's take a look at our park. We have a lot of space and this is definitely going to be something we trim. Um, actually, maybe not. So we have this first or this little entrance here and then it gets it's not too big actually yeah never mind I was gonna say we'll try to cut down oh we already have info kiosks too perfect all right so we're just gonna get some info kiosks uh, around the park real quick and as far as our color scheme for this I don't know what I want to do um, I wish I could do actually I was gonna say I wish I could do like a rainbow what if I do that instead of a rainbow umbrella what if I just do like I'm gonna place like all my info kiosks just to start so we've got a red let's do the rainbow let's do red green blue RGB Roy G Biv why did I do red green what I, I don't I don't know so we did red <laughs> We'll do Roy G. Biv. So red, orange. And again, sorry if my mouse is doing sporadic things. If it looks like I'm missing completely. It's because I am. My mouse is not working so great. All right. Red, orange, yellow. We've already done green. And we need a blue and a purple. And hopefully this will prevent people from getting incredibly lost. We'll do one not there, but here, I guess. Uh, so R-O... Red, orange, yellow, green, we need to do a blue. And then right by the entrance, we'll do a purple. I was thinking rainbow... Rainbow uh, umbrellas, but this works just as well, actually. Um, Where can I... That's so close. <laughs> I want to do one right at the entrance here, but... The water is... Actually, let's, let's tuck it right here. That should work. I hope, at least. Guests are getting lost or stuck. I know, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. <laughs> and purple. Cool. I know that's a really exciting way to start. Um, our shops and stalls are probably not going to be in groups of three, because that's just not practical at all. I'm going to go ahead and finish placing all the shops and stalls, because we need quite a few. I kind of want to just be done with them from the start, at least the ones that we have already. So I'm going to take care of this real quick, and I'll see you when I'm done. All right, I have all my shops and stalls placed, and I know I didn't show me placing my balloon stalls, but we went ahead and did the same red, orange, yellow, green, uh, blue, and purple. <laughs> Probably a gross misuse of funds, but I'm okay with it. Anything for aesthetics. I'm sure I'm going to come to regret that real soon. Um, I have no idea what my loan is. I hope I don't have to find out. I most likely will. But I hope I don't have to. Um, so, okay, how do I want to do this? I, I'm thinking that placing three of everything <laughs> is going to get kind of crazy. Uh, so I might just do like clusters of three when it comes to at least our gentle rides. With our coasters, we're definitely doing groups of three. I think that's going to be really cool. But... And really expensive. And so it might not all happen in one episode. I might take 
two or three episodes to get one trio of coasters built. So just be prepared for that. <laughs> um, I'm trying to see where this can line up. I think this could be kind of cool if we do something in the water here. Um, so let's do... Oh, this is going to be really interesting. Okay, so I've got to kind of plan this out real nice. <laughs> so all of our exits are going to go on the backside here. And I want to place all of these first. I don't even know what all we have. So if we center that up with this, put it right there, the entrance can go there. And our entrances are all going to run next to each other, which I think will kind of convey the whole trio concept. And we might do all the lines for each trio the same color. We'll kind of stick with the rainbow thing we've got going. I don't even know if you could call it a thing, but we'll stick with that for the time being because I don't know what color scheme a group of three has. That doesn't really make sense. Um, okay, so we've got scrambled eggs, swinging ship, and ooh, I think a Ferris wheel would balance this out real nice. Uh, just sticking with that five long design. Oh, this is a four long design. Just, just kidding. Um, that won't Eh, it's close enough. It's close enough. All right, so we need to put this, again, two away. Just like that. With our entrance on the front, exit on the side. Does that work? Ooh, actually, if I move this entrance right there, it keeps the symmetry. Oh, that's going to be cool. I'm already really loving this just concept. Uh, so let's close all these down. We'll paint and name them once we get them open. Making money is going to be very, very important for us. Uh, let's do let's do green for these on the water. That'll be real nice. Oh, and one other thing I'm just now realizing, which is amazing, is that I can now see the time or how long my recording has been going for, which is something I never used to be able to do. I just kind of recorded and hoped that it wasn't too long. But now... I can actually see how long it's been. It's amazing. All right, so we'll run this. It should be a mirror image if I did this correctly, which it looks like I did. And then another one going straight down the middle. And these are kind of going to kind of be in sections. So you're going to kind of have to do like a down and back here to get to this section. Um, it's not going to be super well connected, which might be a downfall of this park but it looks cool so I don't care um, again for the sake of symmetry let's connect in the middle I think that's going to look a lot better uh, between this episode and next I'll take care of my handyman and my um, all this stuff and what the heck what is this spooky theming where was this when we did our Halloween episode is that a giant skeleton with a top hat? That's awesome. <laughs> cool. And there's different colors for that too? I We're going to play around with that come October. <laughs> I'm thinking ahead. Maybe sooner. Not sure. Um, This looks really cool. Let's go ahead and adjust the settings for these that we need. Actually, let's go with default settings on these. I'm not going to up the number of things for the sake of getting them open like now. Oh, and we don't have exits. That's not good. Um, so we'll connect these up real quick just to give them exits. Or so it doesn't give me errors saying we don't have an exit. Now they all have an exit. Um, and then this, we're going to kind of, I don't know. We're adding more area to our park. But I don't know if I want to expand um, the number of like info kiosks we have and such. So, not sure on that. But if we take this this direction, we should be able to go up and over this without having to get rid of too much. Actually, anything else. There we go. And now it's all connected up. Um, I do want to be hiring some mechanics as we go, just because it looks like I can't see anything right now. Uh, it looks... Oh my gosh. <laughs> it looks like the um, other mechanic is already set with set footpaths to handle uh hear no evil see no evil and speak no evil 
Uh, for the time being, actually, I was going to say, let's put a do not enter sign right here. But we're very soon probably going to be expanding out in this area. This actually is probably another good area to do another set of three. I think that could be kind of cool. Ah, now I see why we have the spooky theming. We needed the trees that were a part of it for this little dead, scorched earth kind of area. That's kind of cool. Um, let's actually add in one more restroom back here. I don't think we have one super close. And in case people want to blow chunks everywhere, they can do it there instead. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Um, we need names and we need paint jobs. And so our names for this park aren't going to be... Uh, I don't know the word I'm looking for. They're not going to be as relevant to the coaster or to the attraction. Our coasters might be more relevant, but like some of them I'm thinking like splitting up a common phrase between the three rides. Um, I'm actually going to name this first one just because it, it came to mind whenever I was in, and I don't know if I've said this before, at least on this channel. Some of you might know that actually know me in real life. Um, but I, I'm an Eagle Scout. And when I was in Boy Scouts, there was me, a buddy of mine, and another buddy of mine. We were sort of a, a friend trio, if you will. And we had always, you know, we were always good friends. We had always done Scouts together. We had started when we were young. We all got Eagle Scout together. Um, we had a Eagle you know, basically a ceremony for getting Eagle Scout. It was a joint thing. Anyway, one of the Scoutmasters always nicknamed us, and he always called us one of three names. It was kind of never assigned who was who, but between the three of us, he'd always call one of us one of those three names, and so every time, all three of us would always respond to any three of those names. So we're going to name this, or these, Winkin'. Blinkin', and for whatever reason, it doesn't really seem like it fits at all. Nod. Winkin', Blinkin', and Nod. I don't know why that was a nickname he had for us, but it is, and I think that sounds kind of cool. Um, I guess they're all actions you can do with your head. You can wink, you can blink, and you could nod. I, I, I don't know, but um, yeah, that that's, that's our ride. Or that's our our thing. Um, so color scheme for this, I think it'd be cool if we did. What if we kind of stick with our? No, I don't want to make this like a color sectioned park because I was about to say, what if we do this all kind of green and white to match the lines? But that's not going to look so great and not really what I'm going for. Um, what if we do like all of them, like red, green, and blue? each with white accents or something like that. So we'll start, I think red in the middle would look the best and it's already red and white. So that's actually perfect. Uh, red with white accents. I think the swinging ship, Winkin would look better in green. So we'll do green. Um, actually let's do white for that. That's not what I thought it was. And a green base, how weird does that look? Not bad. I think that looks better, for, at least for the base. And then the ship, we can do green and white. Perfect. All right, so that's actually not looking good. That kind of looks cool. I don't think we've ever done a white base on something. All right, so that takes care of Winkin, Blinkin, and uh, let's do Nod, last but not least. Uh, what did I say we're going to do? Red, green, and blue with white accents that actually looks kind of cool i know that that's very simple but they're also our simplest rides um and i like kind of doing everything in three it makes it easier i go through i name all three i paint all three i price all three it's gonna help a lot with me not forgetting things i think it'll kind of beat it into me as far as you know enforcing the habit uh there we go. Winkin, Blinkin, and Nod are now open. This will also help. I don't know if I'll continue with this de this design where the entrances are on one side and the exits are on the other. I think that's kind of cool. It'll kind of force traffic flow. Um, because, yeah, this is just a dead end. 
But if they choose to go on this, then they continue around and it kind of disperses our guests, which is kind of nice. All right, we built that. Last I checked, we had about two grand and now we have a little over two grand. So the fact that we have three rides that we can charge seven fifty or eight dollars is pretty amazing. Um, we're definitely going to assign a mechanic for this one by itself and then these two by themselves because these exits are right next to each other and this one's actually kind of far away. Um, they have to go through the path, around, up, over the bridge, down the bridge, around, and to these exits. Like for our mechanic, that's kind of a long walk if he's over here. And that's a lot of downtime for this ride. So I'm not okay with that. But I'll fix that off camera because I know that's not super exciting to watch. It's probably not fun to hear me talk about either, but I don't care. Um, okay, what else? What else can we build? We're in June. What if we do... I kind of want to do one more set of three. And because these take a little bit, we're not going to be getting to a coaster or any like custom built. Even if we do like a car ride. Ooh, that could be cool. Car ride. Cycle railway. And if we can get like a... Actually, do we have... Maybe even a miniature railroad. Just like tie the, make it a ride and not like a transport ride. We could tie those in together. They're all kind of gentle. I think that could be really cool. I'm getting really excited for this park. It's going to be fun to build. Um, okay, let's do one more set. And all right, so the haunted house and the crooked house definitely should go together. And then we don't have another slide. The circus show and the carousel definitely, I think, fit. And then, I don't know. Let's get the houses going. I don't know what the third one will be, but we'll find out here shortly. Uh, so these, I'm actually wanting to go in kind of different spots, but kind of on this hillside. I think it could be pretty cool. Um, the exit, yeah, let's do the same thing. Let's have the exits kind of all merge together. Uh, this one's not going to be symmetric, though, kind of like I was trying to do... Uh, for our wink and blink and nod setup. So these will be kind of just tucked in the hillside here. I think it'll look kind of cool. Um, the entrances, I do... Actually, what's the capacity on this? Um, if it's not many, I think it's only eight. It's five. Okay, so a line of two tiles long will be just fine. Uh, so that takes care of those. And we need a third to pair this with. I might end up demolishing it and relocating it, depending on what we get. If we get something better, I think something enclosed would be ideal. If we got like a um, a 3D cinema or something, shame on me. I should have been doing that a while ago. Uh, ride improvements, scenery and theming, get out of here. We'll check those later if we need. Uh, but we actually have a thrill ride on its way. Uh, I didn't read that. 10th of July... I'm not waiting for the 10th of July to roll around. Nope, not happening. Uh, so, in the meantime, let's do... Let's do an observation tower. I don't know why, but that sounds good to me. Alright, so we'll do this... Kind of back here? Yeah, this is going to work. Actually, this needs to be... No, I can do the exit. Hold on. <laughs> this needs to go here. There we go. And the entrance there, exit here. Okay, I'm seeing something now. All right, we'll make this go all the way up, just like normal. And look at that. Three more rides built, and we have $200 more than when, when I last looked at the price. Uh, or our not, our, not the price, our finances. Uh, so let's do red for these, because it's a haunted house, a crooked house, and a sky house. I, I don't know. Uh, for these, again, we're going to kind of do that same thing and stick our entrances together. I think that could be kind of cool. Um, except for the fact that this is not level. Hmm. Um... Okay, I got a fix. Uh, so we'll actually take these and lower them into one tile. 
Uh, except that's not going to work. Um, well, that, that was a short-lived plan. Um, okay, so instead of doing the entrance there, we'll do it on the side. And then that should allow us to do that same same design with it ending right there. Perfect. And then this is going to be way longer of a line than necessary. But that's okay. <laughs> we'll take this... Actually, no, this needs to stay one above. And then we'll drop it right there to the common tile right there. That looks so cool. I'm loving this. All right, let's open these all, just like we did with a wink and blink and a nod. And, oh man, cool. All right, we need exits for these so people don't freak out or more appropriately so the game doesn't freak out because it totally will. Um, let's go flat there. That tree is probably gonna have to go, but that should connect up there. And then if we run this, Ooh, I'm actually seeing something now that could be kind of cool. If we actually run this see-through rides, get out of here. Um, is the the towers in the way? If we lower the land here, what if we start it here? I'm seeing something that looks kind of cool. Um, if we run these down, we can lower the land here. And then... We'll go back up here, I think, and connect up there. And then all we need to do is modify this ever so slightly. And we can run an exit down there. Perfect. And now all the exits are connected as well. This is looking so cool. I am in love with this idea. And believe it or not, it actually was the easiest to come up with of all the parks I've done. I usually spend not quite an hour, but close to it, planning each park. This, I spent about five minutes because names just kept popping into my head. I haven't even made my list yet. I just knew what I wanted to do, so I'm doing it. <laughs> I wanted to act upon that, that initial just desire to do it and do it. So that's what I'm doing. Um, okay, Crooked House 1. We've got Crooked House 1, Haunted House 1, and Tower 1. Let's actually update the pricing first on all these. Because uh, I want to make the proper amounts of money. $240 for this. $3 for Tower 1. That's actually not bad. And then Crooked House is $215. Nothing to write home about. But again, not bad. Alright, so we did Winkin', Blinkin', and Nod. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. What's another good trio? I want you guys in the comments down below. Give me, give me ideas for trios. Um, some of these, I'm gonna like take a. I think I already mentioned this. Take a phrase and break it apart into like three. Like it won't make sense just with the one ride, but all together, I think it'll be. Pretty cool. So on this one, because two of them are houses, I'm going to do that thing I just mentioned. Take a phrase and break it apart. So this one, Haunted House 1, is actually going to be called a house. We're actually going to go kind of out of order here because I want the house ones to have the similar names. So Tower 1 is going to be... Is not... And Crooked House 1 is a home. A house is not a home. <laughs> I'm super lame, and I know it. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> a house is not a home. A home can be wherever you choose for it to be. I actually think I said that same phrase. Or actually, I'm pretty sure I named a haunted house a house is not a home. And I think it was in, what, our second park, Dynamite Dunes? If I didn't then I apologize, but if I did, I am really surprised that I remembered that. <laughs> if I did and that's correct, go me. If not, I'm just, I'm awful. Um, and on these, we can't paint anything. 
So this we're gonna make kind of look like a house, I guess. Uh, so this is gonna look hideous. Um, but we'll do a gray and like that tan color. And that actually kind of matches pretty decently. <laughs> And then again, let's do gray and that cream and see if that looks... Eh, the blue, ga blue glass really kind of throws it off. But as far as the continual paint scheme for those, I think that matches pretty well. Oh man, and what if we have each one have its own music too? I think that could be kind of cool. Uh, gentle style... Summer over here? Do we want to do summer? I think that sounds nice. Yeah, nice and peaceful for the gentle stuff. We'll do... What did I just say? Summer? I'm looking at the wrong thing. Summer style for this group. Let's do... Uh, what would be good over here? Gentle? Yeah, let's do gentle over here. Kind of a nice atmospheric setting as you walk in the park and then we definitely need something a little bit more intense over here oh yeah i'm glad we're getting music in this park on the first episode it's something i need to do more often for as much as i love music and as much as i think it adds to the game and to the park i really don't do it as often as i should but all right guys that's gonna do it for this episode i hope Freedom Park. <laughs> That's a ridiculous name. I hope you guys are excited for this one. It's going to be different. Definitely different. But I think it's going to be really cool. We've already got six things built. When do we ever build six things plus all of our shops and stalls in the first episode? Not super often. And look at that. We're making money as we do this. It's amazing. So we're probably going to start with probably one more smaller group of three. And we'll start on our first trio of coasters next episode. That's something I am definitely looking forward to. But alright guys, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Again, do not forget to list some of your favorite trios down in the comments below. That will definitely get me inspired for some coasters. And maybe some naming and paint schemes. Well, obviously names because that's what I'm asking for you to provide. But yeah, please, 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 please give me some ideas down in the comments. Of all the suggestions, I think these are some of the easier ones. Most people probably have a trio that they can think of without too much effort. But once again, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. And until then, as always, take care.